three powerful AI tools you should definitely explore. I've been recording mostly videos lately about AI coding assistants and I've kind of neglected AI agents and AI solutions for generating video and content. And today I wanted to share with you three interesting tools that I stumbled upon that I believe can be useful for most, for the majority of businesses. The first will be helpful for summarizing text and generating podcasts. The other is helpful for generating videos. And the third one is from the deep fake game. Uh, if you want to do like a bit more shady stuff or just create visuals based on existing videos, this might be a very valid and viable solution for you. Let's get started. The first solution you might have heard about is Notebook LLM by the Google team. And in general, it's a tool that allows you to add a ton of knowledge bases, data sources. So you can add many different data sources. It can be from your Google Drive, it can be from links, or you can just copy and paste text. You can add 50 data sources per project, so a lot of context. As you probably know, the Gemini uh, LLM can hold up to 2 million tokens in a, in, as a context window, so I'm guessing Notebook LLM uses context windows which are uh, as big or maybe slightly smaller, but still you can upload a decent amount of data to these um, projects. And what you can do next is, first of all, as soon as you upload a document, it's going to summarize the document. So I've uploaded uh, a piece of content about AI agents. So as soon as I uploaded the document, it already wrote the summary. It shows you the key topics. You can very easily create an FAQ which will, which will be generated as a note. You can also generate a, a study guide, table of contents, a briefing document, and if the text contains like timelines, you can also generate a timeline. So this is the FAQ based on the document. What are AI agents? What are the key components of AI agents? What are different types of agents? How do AI agents solve problems? How do AI agents represent and reason about knowledge? How is machine learning used in AI agents, etc.? Uh, now you don't know the 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 content of drug, of the actual file, but just believe me that the FAQ is relevant. But that's not the main point that, or the main reason why I wanted to share with you this notebook LLM. Actually, the most cool features that they are offering is this ability, like with one click you can take this knowledge base and create a pretty realistic podcast with two participants that are talking about the content of your uh, data sources. So let me show you an example. I just uploaded this piece of text and then I just clicked here. There was an, an option to generate this podcast and then it just generated this podcast. So let's give it a go. Let's listen to like the first one minute or so. All right, so you send in this article, AI Agents, a comprehensive overview. Sounds like someone's ready to go deeper than just asking ChatGPT to write them a poem. Definitely. Yeah, and honestly, it's a good time for a deep dive on this topic. AI agents are everywhere these days, but most people don't even realize it, even when they're using them every day. It's true. Most of us interact with some form of AI agent daily, whether it's a virtual assistant on our phones or, you know, those recommendation algorithms deciding what we should watch next. Exactly. Mm. But we're here to pull back the curtain on all that. Yeah. Let's start with the basics. What exactly is an AI agent? Well, at its core, an AI agent is like a digital detective, constantly gathering information from its environment, analyzing it, and then deciding on a course of action. It's that element of independent decision making that really sets them apart. So it's not just about crunching numbers or storing data. They actually do things based on what they learn. Precisely. Think of it like this. If data is the raw material, the AI agent is the craftsperson who takes that material and shapes it into something useful. Okay, I like that analogy. But every craftsperson needs a workshop, right? This article you sent mentions how important the environment is for an AI agent. 
What does that actually mean? You're right. Context is everything. The environment is basic. Okay, this is pretty amazing and it's actually very engaging and I can see how this could be very useful. I'm actually already thinking of how I can generate content using uh, this tool. So definitely I suggest that you check it out. You can generate pretty engaging content with this tool. So Notebook LLM by the Google, by Google team. I will share the link in the video description. Now, after I uh, finished creating uh, this demonstration, this piece of audio, I thought of, okay, how can we add a visually appealing element to this? And then I stumbled upon this solution, which is called uh, Hedra or Hydra, I'm not quite sure. Uh, they offer a free plan and also the other, the other uh, pricing tiers are pretty, pretty affordable. And what this tool allows you, it allows you to generate a character. You can also upload your own character, I mean, your own photos and make it more realistic. And then you generate a piece of, you add uh, like content. In this case, this is the content and it's going to generate an animation uh, speaking, uh, basically talking with the voice that you chose. So let's assume that you take a piece of content over here from this. Let's assume that you separated both characters. You can just take a face and add it to a face and it will generate an animation as if it was talking. Let me show you a demonstration of how it looks like. Just a sec, it was over here. Okay, so this was the first one that I created. AI agents represent a significant leap beyond traditional chatbots. While chatbots typically follow pre-programmed rules to respond to specific inputs, AI agents utilize advanced machine learning algorithms to understand context, learn from interactions, and make intelligent decisions. Okay, so this was the first go. I, I, my prompt for this one was just create an, a nerdy looking developer. Then I wanted to create something more realistic, so I added the word realistic to the prompt. AI agents represent a significant leap beyond traditional chatbots. While chatbots typically follow pre-programmed rules to respond to specific inputs. It's not 100% perfect, but it's pretty good. And I think if you disclose that this is uh, generated with AI, it can still be, be very engaging. And then I gave it another go with uh, a different female with a female voice and this is what she generated. Supporting YouTube creators by subscribing and engaging with their content helps sustain the platform's ecosystem of independent media. Subscriptions provide creators with a more stable audience base, which can lead to monetization opportunities and the ability to produce higher quality content. Awesome. So that's the second solution that I wanted to share with you today, which is called Hedra. It's still not 100% perfect, but it's good enough in order to generate some use cases. And the third solution that I wanted to share with you is actually a deep fake solution. Um, I'm not going to enter into ethical discussions of whether or not deep fake is uh, ethical or not. But I just wanted to share with you this, this project, which is called Face Fusion. I think it's the best performing deep fake solution at the moment that is available, uh, especially for face swapping, especially when it comes to uh, face swapping in videos. Installation is pretty straightforward. You can buy the Windows installer, it, it costs 20 bucks, or you can just install it on your own, reading the documentation. It's pretty straightforward, just follow all the steps and you will be good to go. Now I have this running in uh, an Anaconda environment and let me show you what it created. So I wanted to swap my face with Arnold Schwarzenegger. Uh, I always want, I always, I wouldn't say admire, but yeah, I looked up to Arnold Schwarzenegger I also did a, a bodybuilding competition back in the days. So yeah, I like most of his motivational stuff. So I said, okay, let's try to create a face swap between his content and put my face on it. Let me show you 
the sauce. This is the sauce. Then I took the cigar from the humidor and the guy took it out of my hand and he says, whoa, whoa, whoa. Before you go and smoke the cigar, let me do a little bit of spicing it up. So this was the original piece and then just using the default settings for face swapping basically added my profile picture this is the profile picture i use everywhere like in linkedin facebook etc i think it's one of the most uh, i mean i don't have many photos of myself but this actually turned out pretty well so i use it very often and what i what you do you just add your image source so this is the face that you would like to um, implement and here you can add the target video so this is the original video you have many different settings that you can use. You can decide higher quality, um, how many iterations, like different parameters, you know, like when you generate uh, with stable diffusion stuff. Um, and I just used the default. I didn't want to mess around with this too much because I just wanted to see the, the capabilities. I already did something yesterday, it turned out pretty well, and actually something that, that I can definitely use in Facebook ads. And what I, did, what I created today was this thing. Then I took the cigar from the humidor, and the guy took it out of my hand, and he says, whoa, whoa, whoa. before you go and smoke the cigar, let me do a little bit of spicing it up. Okay, so it's actually not that Then bad. I took the cigar from the humidor and the guy took it out of my hand and he says, whoa, 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 before you go and smoke the cigar, let me do a little bit of spicing it up. And this took approximately two and a half minutes to generate. What I'm doing at the moment is I chose like higher quality generation. It's taking a while already. It's taking, it's like 20 seconds per frame and there are 225 frames so it's going to take a while but I'm expecting way better results but still I believe that even at the moment with some good captions and very fast frames it still can be viable for Facebook or an Instagram ad so if it's something that you you're thinking about again I'm not entering ethical um, discussions about whether or not deepfake is ethical because it's probably in most use cases it isn't but if you're interested in doing something that is ethical with deepfake and face swapping i think that face uh, face fusion is definitely the go-to solution that you should definitely check out that's it for today guys i hope you enjoyed this video obviously if you did please make sure to subscribe and leave a comment below for the algorithm you know how most youtubers say leave something for the algorithm so maybe say deep fake in the comment section let's see if it works um, yeah i guess that's it if you have any ideas or feedback obviously leave them in the comment section and until next time keep on automating